guys welcome back to our channel and you're watching little kingdom so guys in this video i am going to tell the story about mahabharata as guys it is the third episode that's why i am going to tell the new story for you so guys please listen to the story till the end so guys let's move on to the story the great oath king santanu was hunting on the bank of river yamuna While he was fascinated by the fragrance he started searching for the source of fragrance and he met a beautiful maiden Santanu liked her very much her name was Satyavati she was the daughter of a fisherman i want to marry her i will ask for her father for her hand santanu said to himself he went straight to the fisherman and asked for the hand of his daughter in the marriage but the fisherman said no it is not possible why i am ready to agree any of any of your conditions please give me satyavati the king begged the fisherman all right i will arrange for the marriage but there is one condition what is that satyavati's child should become the next king Will you agree this condition? The king was taken aback on hearing this request. How is this possible? He had his son, Devavrata, the most worthy person to become the next king. How could he deny his right for the sake of love of a woman? Santanu became silent. He went back to his palace without uttering a word. He was unhappy. Devavrata noticed that his father was unhappy. Even to Santanu did not tell him the reason. Devavrata found out the reason of the father's grief. If my father wants to marry Satyavati, let it be so. Let her son become the next king. I won't raise any claim to the throne. Devavrata told himself. Devavrata went to the fisherman and told him he had decided to give up his claim to the throne I agree I agree my little princess said the fisherman still there is a problem still a problem what is that Devavrata asked yes there is one more difficulty even if you don't want to be the king your children may raise their claim and so satyavati grandchild children will lose their kingdom devta stood in silence for some time then he turned up back to fisherman and said firmly i swear before the gods and every human being that i shall not marry and remain as a brahmacharya This was the great oath the gods in the heavens showered flowers on him since then devavrata got a new name bhishma bhishma means steel hearted who else can give such a great promise that too for the well being of his father king santanu was shocked to hear about the oath of devavrata and pleaded him to change his mind I will not change my word he declared May God bless you Santanu blessed Bhishma May you live as long as you wish to and die only when you want to King Santanu married Satyavati and ruled the country for many years after his death Satyavati's children ascended the throne Bhishma stood by his word he neither married nor raised a claim of for the throne so guys i hope you all allowed the story uh, you all uh, heard the story clearly and you all have liked the story so for more videos please like share and subscribe our channel please support us together thank you